this one out for another load of wood. Took another day off work. Brantley boy still got a soft cast. He gets his hard cast uh, tomorrow, so don't want him going to school and messing it up more. So took the day off. So I figured we'll come up and get a load, maybe two loads today on the Toyota. So start getting that winter wood in. Stink boy. Than yep, it's coming early this year, but get our wood in. Need to get tires ordered for the Tacoma, Kelsey's truck, and I think I'm gonna throw a new set on the Hulk. So I got a feeling I'm gonna end up getting swamped with orders here in the next month. So I want to have good tires on the Hulk. I mean, it's got decent tires now, but I want good, good tires. That way I don't have to chain up as much. So. Anyhow, oh, where at? Oh, I seen it. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yep, three. Yeah, one's a little buck. Got one in the back. Right on. Watch for a big one. We road hunters today. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. There's two does and a little buck. That little buck, he's already pushing one of them does around, but heck, the last day of my sister's sheep season, the 15th of October, we seen a little four point. Well, I did when I was hiking down off them bluffs. It actually, it's a pretty nice four point. He was already rutting a doe hard, man. He was dogging her and chasing her everywhere, so. It's coming early this year. Usually, uh, right around the first of November is when the mule deer really kick in. Whitetail start about the tenth, really hard. So, got to keep our eyes peeled. Might be a giant with them. So, I ain't afraid to shoot one from the road, especially just going out and get a load of wood. Ain't nothing better than going out, cutting a load of wood, and coming out with a big old buck on the back. So. Anyway, we'll bring you guys back when we get up here, or if we shoot something. Getting a good snowstorm. Even though it's early, I'm excited. Need to get snowmobiles worked on, get ready for trapping season. Hopefully if we get snowed out by the 1st of December and keep the hunters out of the mountains anyway so we can get to trapping. That's the only bad thing about where we're at is everyone hunts. I mean, that last week of December, our season goes till the end of December. And uh, them guys are out there until the very last day. We're afraid to get traps out just because we don't want people messing with them or taking a wolf or bobcat out of our traps. So, yeah, I was gonna pick up a new spotter this week, but I need to get new tires on my truck mom's truck and the hulk so like i told brantley if we can't make it out in the mountains we can't hunt anyway so i just bought a new pair of vortex binos there last week uh 12 by 50s i've ran 10 by 42s that's what kelsey has as well um then 12 by 50s man they're nice uh my brother gage brother-in-law gage has a set I really liked him, so does Brother Rich. So I ended up picking up a set. Have a little more glass and power this year, so. Get some new tires on, and we'll be ready to rock. I need to put a new rack and pinion in this truck. Power steering's out in it, so. That's on a to-do list. Anyhow, I just figured I'd give you guys a view of the mountains. See, this is why I don't want to bring that Hulk up here. I mean, this is straight up and straight down steep, steep country. And the Hulk's got decent brakes on it. I mean, if you know how to drive them old trucks, but you know, fully loaded, come off these steep hills, you know, if them brakes went out, I wouldn't want to send it to the bottom. So just take the Toyota up here. It's easy wood to get, nice little cruise. Anyhow, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video we'll uh, have some cutting in the snow today Here. Good thing for a waterproof phone case, man. It's getting soaked. But it just makes all that noise you guys hear every now and again.
roads ain't getting full of snow. <laughs> Shut the phone off, let it warm up, we'll bring you guys back in.
It's been a little hard. I think all the miles I've done in the mountains as far as what we've been doing.
tow chain strap or cable um, trying to put that in the back or on the top or somewhere just in case you need it that way you don't have to unload a full load of wood Out of here and bring you guys back. Well, we're all loaded. I'm gonna get out of here and get this home. Gotta get my wood permit on there. I could have snuck a few more blocks in there, but it's all good. Get my wood permit on and get out of here. Wish you folks good health and happiness as always. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully, the snow goes away for a few more weeks, huh? Oh well. Tracks from the right end already snowed in. Dang near. <clears throat> yeah, getting a bit chilly out there, that's for sure. Some steep country, huh? There's no doubt about that, man. I've hiked this stuff quite a few times it's pretty steep it's a blizzard now holy smokes the trees are bent right over oh, blew me off the dang road a couple times crazy gonna take this load home but one of our customers is completely out I always take care of this lady she's an elderly 